too. They have a call. So I've been gone for like nine days. Um, like I said in my last video, I would do videos less frequently since, um, I mean, after each book haul, it takes me about, like, three weeks or so, maybe even two weeks, I don't even know, but it takes me a while to finish all the books that I have, so I don't really have anything to say while I'm reading those books, so, yeah. Anyway, um, I have a really exciting book haul, but first, uh, I finished Warriors and One of the Stars, number two, Fading Echoes, and... It was really, really good. I absolutely loved this book. I loved the cliffhanger at the end. I loved the battle that happened at the end. It was just so, oh, such an awesome book. And I figured out that Ivy Paw has been going to the Dark Forest to train with Hawk Frost and Broken Star. And, um, t Tiger Star, Tiger Star, yeah. Tiger Star, all those cats that are really bad, um, so, hey, it's been really good, um, then I go to the next two books in that series, which are Night Whispers, the third book, and Sign of the Moon, the fourth book, so, yay, I'm so excited to read this, I don't know when I will, but, yay, so excited, and this one, is The Tale of Emily Winsnap by Liz Kessler. Um, I really have no idea what this is about. Um, all I know is she is in seventh grade, so. Pretty short book. Um, my friend actually got me a box set of all these books. Um, like, I don't know. Five years ago, maybe? I don't know. But I gave that box set away, so I decided to try it out and see how it was. Um, this is obviously JF. Um, yeah. This one I will be reading next. Pretty Little Liars, book two, Flawless. I love Pretty Little Liars. Um, really awesome book. I absolutely loved it. It was really enjoyable. Like, I, I really enjoyed, like, reading it. <laughs> and these have pretty short chapters, um, I think. I don't even know. <laughs> but I'm excited to read it. And this came out, like, when did this even come out? So, she's made, like, eight books in the past five years, so that's a lot, um, <laughs> or six years, so, anyway, and this one I already read, it's Star Wimpy Kid, Third Wheel, by Jeff Kinney, seventh book in the series, um, well, I liked it, I guess, I mean, um, well, I really did like it, I mean, it is a good good series. He just needs to stop the series soon because it's just getting old and it's just not that interesting anymore and I just think he just needs to stop the series because it's just getting old. So, yeah, I like these books. This one I was really excited to find. The Zombies vs. Unicorns. Edited by Holly Black and Justine Laura Blustier. Um, I think I'm saying that right, I don't even know. Anyway, this is basically a bunch of zombie or unicorn stories written by YA authors, which I think is an awesome, um, like, awesome thing to do. Um, so they're either Team Unicorn or Team Zombie. By the way, Cassandra Clare is Team Zombie. Um... And I have no idea who Margot Lamagam is, but I'm excited to read these stories because they look really awesome. And the last two books I got is Linger 
and forever. Both by Maggie Steve Lauder. Switch them around. Okay, so last two books in the isn't it like Shadows of Mercy Falls. I think it's Shadow no. Wolves of Mercy Falls. Last two books in the Wolves of Mercy Falls series. I loved Shiver so much. I read it like four months ago. So I finally got to pick these up. So I'm really excited to read them. And that is it. That is all the books I got. And I went through that surprisingly fast because I got like eight books. Um, <sighs> yeah, so as long as this, this video isn't that long. So I'm just going to say what we're going to... Bookmark I'm using right now. Okay, so today we're gonna go to the mall because uh I don't really know why we're going to the mall. We just want to go there, so we're going there, and then we're going to Mall Giano's, which is like an, a fancy Italian restaurant. I don't really know why we're going there, but so we're going there, and it's gonna be really awesome. So um, it's been like nine. No, 10 days since I've done a video. So sorry about that. I just, that last book haul was really big. And then I had a bunch of busy stuff to do. And yeah, so that's, that's good. Like, so you see all these books that I have here. Um, basically, as soon as I go to the library again, I'll do a haul. It's just, it's that easy. I mean, it's not... I mean, you do have to wait for, like, a while, like, you do, I mean, you will have to wait a while to see my next video since I haven't, I mean, like, since I have a lot of other books to read, but it shouldn't take me too long, um, so, yeah, um, you might be wondering how do you read 100 pages a day, that seems impossible for me. I really don't understand either because I basically, I read in the car, which takes about 20 minutes to get to my school, so I can read about like 20 pages then. Um, I also read, uh, basically anytime I get the chance to at school, um, mostly like in study hall and sometimes in math when I'm done with all my work and stuff, which I'm barely ever done with all my work. <laughs> I'm like never done with my work, but anyway, um. And then I read in the car going home from school, and then uh, I read at home. So I really don't know how I get to do that. I mean, really, I mean, reading 100 pages a day is only like two hours a day for me because it takes me about an hour to read 50 pages, which I know seems like a long time, but I don't know how it takes me so long. But that's how I, <laughs> that's how... I read 100 pages a day. I just read as much as I can per day. Um, 